Hello and welcome to the final, hopefully final video of lesson five. We've covered so far likes and dislikes and making nouns and not adjectives negative in the first two videos. Now we're going to talk about something called the one pronoun. And remember, you do need to know tachitsuteto and its counterpart with the dakuten. Okay, so let's look at some words that we can already say. We know aka is red, ao is blue, Oishi is delicious. Amai, we don't know this word. I put it in here, special. Amai means sweet. Like like salty and sweet, sweet. Not sweet. It means this candy is sweet. Amai. Amai. Nihon. Nihon means Japan. And we learned in another lesson, but now the only difference is that we have hiragana for it. We learned to, which was tio before. Now we know tachitsu de to. To is and. Japanese. So if we say Nihon to Italia, Italia means Italy. So we're saying Japan and Italy. Now what the one pronoun is, is we are going to turn these into the red one by adding no. The red one, Akano. And the blue one, Aono. Oishino, the delicious one. Keep in mind, there is another no that we're going to learn in another lesson that cha that is different when it comes after oishino it can mean something else but right now it makes it the delicious one oishino amaino the sweet one amaino nihonno the japanese one that that's what that means the japanese one now remember nihonno can also make mean japanese something something but when there's nothing after it you cannot have anything after these because then the one pronoun disappears and it's replaced with that thing that comes after it. For example, if I said, uh, where's where'd my pen go? This is white, but if I said, aka no pen, now it's the red pen. But if I pull away the pen and I just say, aka no, the red one, okay? If there's nothing there in English, we require the word one to replace the noun that's not there. That's why the one pronoun exists, okay? And if you want to say the Japanese and Italian ones, or one, because it can be plural, we know this, Nihon to Italiano. For example, if I asked you, hey, what kind of cars do you like? You could say, Nihon to Italiano ga suki desu. Nihon to Italiano ga suki desu. If you wanted to say, I like Ita Japanese and Italian cars, well, then that would be, Nihon to Italiano kuruma ga but if I'm saying I like Japanese and Italian ones, Nihon to Italian no ga suki desu. Does that make sense? What kind of uh, what kind of food do you like? Amai no ga suki desu. I like sweet ones. Sweet. It doesn't have to mean one. It can mean sweet things. Amai no ga suki desu. I like the sweet ones. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and put this into practice, and I'm going to ask you a question. Dore ga oishii desu ka? Now this is the first time we've really done a sentence like that. Okay, we haven't really used dore ga so much in the beginning. So if I'm holding three things up, or I'm trying to choose out of these three or four types of foods in front of me, I'm going to ask my friend for advice. Say, dore ga oishii desu ka? Which one tastes good? And he could answer, or she could answer. Akato aono ga oishii desu. Akato aono ga oishii desu. It means the red and blue ones are delicious. Now, the only thing that makes this sentence a little bit weird is that it could mean the ones that are red and blue or the red ones and the blue ones. This sentence could mean both. If we want to make it completely obvious that we mean the red ones and the blue ones, then you could just add another no right here. Aka no to ao no ga oishi desu. That would mean now, without any ambiguity, the red ones and the blue ones are delicious. But alone, aka to ao no ga oishi desu could mean both. And I think that's a little bit confusing. But again, it's all context. You would be looking at them in front. There would be just a blue one and just a red one. In that case, you would know, okay, the red ones and the blue ones. But let's say they were multicolored. 
there would only probably be one that was red and blue at that point, and it would be obvious. Not in a textbook, though. It's not obvious in a textbook. Uh, you can like the brown ones. Chairo no ga oishi desu. Those are good. The, was I saying ski desu the whole time? I'm saying oishi for delicious. Chairo no ga oishi desu. Now, what if you uh, were at like a party where everyone b brought food, right? And someone wanted to know, hey, what is what tastes good? Like out of these things that you've eaten. And you liked what they brought. So you could say to them, Anata no ga oishi desu. Yours is delicious. Now, this is not a case of a one pronoun, but it's really doing the exact same thing. The difference is that English has to add the word one, and that's why it's called the one pronoun, because English requires that we do that. Japanese, it's the same grammar. Okay, nothing unique there. All right, thank you for watching. There's actually no end of my slideshow. There's nothing there but black. But you know what? Kuroi no ga suki desu. I like the black ones. I'll see you all on the next video, which is going to be lesson six, where, what do we do in lesson six? We learn to say, we learn to say, uh, want, and things that you want, and we learn another way to make things negative. We cannot use deny with an E adjective. We're gonna learn how to make an E adjective into a negative in the next video. I'll see you all there. Bye-bye.